Good evening, you're watching Just the News. I'm Amrita Balachandra. We're starting off with the hijab controversy in Karnataka. We have a lot to get through today. Uh, so we'll start off with the court hearing that's taking place. It's day six of the hearing in Karnataka High Court on this particular controversy. Advocate General, um, while arguing on behalf of the state of Karnataka, said that the practice of wearing hijab must pass the test of constitutional morality an individual dignity outlined in Sabimala verdict by the Supreme Court. The Advocate General also said that the Karnataka government has taken a stand that wearing the hijab is not an essential religious practice of Islam and preventing it does not violate the constitutional guarantee of religious freedom. He also added that the state government has ordered that the students should wear uniforms prescribed by colleges the hearing is set to continue on Monday. In the meantime, Karnataka government has restrained students from wearing hijab, saffron stoles, scarves in schools and colleges that come under the state minority welfare department. Now, in a circular that was issued on Wednesday, the department has said, and I quote, the high court order uh, is applicable to residential schools, colleges, Maulana Azad model English medium schools coming under the Minority Welfare Department, end quote. This comes after reports of girls, students uh, which, with hijab being denied entry in several schools and colleges across the state just this week. In fact, in a story that's coming in from Karnataka's Tumkur, which is a little further away from the city of Bengaluru, a part-time lecturer, Chandani Nas, uh, in Karnataka's uh, Jain PU College, and that is in Tumkuru district, resigned as she was allegedly told not to wear the hijab in class. Now, in a recorded video message, she said, and I quote, there was no problem for three years. The principal told me yesterday morning that there are orders that hijab or any other religious symbols are not allowed. I have thought for the last three years uh, wearing hijab. This was against my self-respect and I have chosen to resign on my own. I'm not okay to work without a hijab in this college end quote. Now, Chandini in her resignation letter uh, has also said that she condemns the colleges, and I'm quoting from her letter, undemocratic act, end quote. Now, speaking to the print, the college principal has said, and I quote, we are a private college. Whatever the management says, we have to follow. We were concerned that if a teacher is allowed to wear hijab and teach, then Muslim students may follow suit. End quote. In the meantime, the Rao has spread to several other states as well. A college in Uttar Pradesh's Aligarh district, DS College, has banned its students from wearing any religious attire. This is a report by ANI, which is quoted the principal of DS College, who said, and I quote, we will not allow students to enter the campus with coward faces. Students are not allowed to wear saffron stole or hijab in college premises, end quote. Now, the directives come uh, days after the students of the Aligarh Muslim University held a protest march on the campus to extend their support to what's going on in the state of Karnataka. Earlier, colleges in Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh have seen similar such incidents take place as well. Also, in Karnataka Assembly, there was an overnight stir by the Congress, which is protesting uh, and demanding uh, BJP Minister K.S. Ishwarappa's resignation over the remark that he made when he said, and I quote, saffron flag may become the national flag in future. Now, Ishwarappa last week had said, and I'm quoting him verbatim, uh, he said, today in this country, we are discussing Hindutva and Hindu Vichara. People used to laugh at one point when he said a Ram Mandir would be constructed in Ayodhya. Aren't we constructing it now? In the same way, sometime in the future, after 100 or 200 or 500 years, the Bhagwadwaj may become the national flag. I don't know. End quote. Now, the 73-year-old minister's comment has obviously drawn huge criticism uh, with the Congress protesting at the forefront. Dismissing the protest, he said on Thursday, and I quote, let them protest, I won't budge. End quote. Now, Chief Minister... Uh, Vasamraj Bomai had earlier also commented saying that the Rural Development Minister's statement was being misunderstood and misinterpreted. 
there's another protest uh, and this time coming in from vijayapura district in the state of karnataka where a male student of a government pu college was stopped from sporting vermilion citing the karnataka high court's interim order now this sparked bajrang dal activist to stage a protest against the college authorities now founder shriram sene pramod mutalik has lashed out at the college authorities uh, and said that vermilion is not a religious symbol but a part of the culture of the country reacting to this education minister bc nagesh in bengaluru said that vermilion is a decoration and does not have anything to do with the circular on the uniform which has been issued and this is a report according to the indian express going on now from the hijab controversy to covid round up across the country Union Health Minister has tweeted that over 2 crore children in the age groups of 15 and 18 are now fully vaccinated. The vaccination drive for this particular age group had started on the 3rd of January. And on to states that are now lifting restrictions starting off with Odisha uh, which has lifted its night curfew with effect from today as covid cases are declining. it was imposed on the 31st of january a big surge in covid cases then now the night curfew has been lifted in goa the government has decided to reopen all educational institutions from classes 1 to 12 from the 21st of february while adhering to covid appropriate behavior in south korea in the meantime daily covid tally has surpassed the 1 lakh mark since the pandemic Again, authorities have said that social distancing measures would be only slightly eased ahead of the March 9th presidential election. They have, however, announced a curfew on restaurants and cafes from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. In other news, now a special court in Ahmedabad has sentenced 38 out of 49 convicts to death in the 2008 Ahmedabad serial blast case. 11 others were sentenced to life in jail till death on february 8 to give you a background the gujarat court had declared 49 out of the 78 accused as guilty in the very sections of the ipc at least 56 people died and over 200 were injured in the 2008 terror attack that took place in ahmedabad also in the news the uttar pradesh government today has informed the supreme court that it had withdrawn 274 notices issued for recovery of damages to public properties during the anti caa protests now the state government also informed that all subsequent proceedings in this connection will be in view of the enactment of a new law that they will lay down the procedure for recovery of such damages and that tribunals constituted under the, under the new act will deal with such matters now this comes after the supreme court had earlier pulled up the uttar pradesh government and said that they were in contravention of guidelines laid down by the court on to business news right now according to ani the cbi today has questioned former nsc chief chitra ramakrishna in connection with the 2018 coal location case uh, now this case pertains to alleged abuse of the nsc's co-location facility which is where brokers can buy rack space for their servers to make gains by getting early access to the stock market now according to pti earlier today the cbi also issued circulars against ram krishna another former uh, chief executive officer of the nsc ravi narain and a former group operating officer of the exchange anand subramaniam to prevent them from leaving the country Now the CBI search according to the Indian Express comes in light of revelations made by the Securities and Exchange Board of India that Ramakrishna had allegedly passed on confidential information to a Himalayan yogi. Now yesterday uh, premises in Mumbai and other locations owned by Mr Ramakrishna and others were searched by the income tax department and this uh, CBI uh, questioning comes after that search. going on to international news right now first focusing on the ukraine crisis us president joe biden has said that there was every indication 
Russia was prepared to attack Ukraine. This comes after NATO warned Russia may be trying to stage a pretext for an invasion. Now, Joe Biden said, and I quote, we have reason to believe that they are engaged in a false flag operation to have an excuse to go in. Every indication we have is they are prepared to go into Ukraine and attack Ukraine. My sense is it will happen in the next several days. End quote. Now, the U.S. has declined to share the evidence underlying its claims. Russia, however, so far has maintained that it does not plan to invade Ukraine and that also that it, uh, they have already started uh, de-escalation. This is something that Russia is saying, which uh, has been refuted by other nations. Meanwhile, according to BBC, Russian President Vladimir Putin will oversee major military exercises on the 19th of February, which is Saturday. Tomorrow, there will be ballistic and cruise missile launches and tests to see how ready its nuclear armaments are. Now, Russia said the drills are fairly regular and not an escalation of the standoff with Ukraine. And one piece of really good news coming in from the state of Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu has amended the legislation that governs its police force and has inserted a clause that effectively bans any harassment of LGBTQI plus people. Now, this has become the first state in India to enact a specific legal provision against police violence on the marginalized community. Now, this, of course, comes months after the Madras High Court asked the state administration to sensitize the police force about LGBTQI plus issues. That brings us to the end of this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. Leave us feedback on the stories that you think that we should pick up in the comments below. Good night.